And I'm back with Santa Margarita's export manager, Bruno Zaretin, who is involved with this year's uh, Scotiabank AIDS Walk for Life. And his company uh, has been involved for the past five years. This is year number six uh, for Santa Margarita. And we're going to continue our discussion about his involvement uh, with this organization. Bruno, welcome back. Thank you so much. And I'll be so glad to be back and uh, talking to you again. All right, terrific. Now, tell me, um, you touched on this a little bit, but why did you choose uh, this particular cause? There are so many causes out there, deserving causes, nonprofit and charitable organizations. Uh, was it just kind of a personal connection for you or someone in your office with this cause? Uh, it was not too much of a personal connection, albeit there was some, but. Uh, we wanted a cause that could uh, uh, profit in an important manner from whatever contribution we could get. And at the beginning, we had no idea how the, market, the, 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 the consumers would have responded in Canada. We were very confident and we were proven uh, right. But uh, at the beginning, we uh, didn't feel we could approach one of the huge charities who get a million dollar checks here and there and uh, once again we, we, we cannot do that. We can do all, only, only so much and we, the way we were described the situation, the Canadian Aid Society could appreciate whatever we could do. That was the, uh, the, the, the thing we told. Also like it, was, it was also on my part a little bit of a challenge because um, AIDS and uh, HIV uh, I probably still in some people's minds uh, represent the stigma mm -hmm. and I wanted to challenge that and when I uh, discussed this and then brought the idea and the proposal to my uh, board of management not a single person had a single hesitation they said That's great idea let's go for it immediately so Santa Margarita is behind this big time and uh, I hope for a long time as well. Absolutely. Uh, two points you touched on there. One is just the, the high visibility of your campaign from the advertising to being right on the bottle label, which is terrific, especially when you are dealing with a cause that may still have some stigma attached to it. It really helps, not just monetarily. But secondly, you also touched on a really important point, and that is trying to match the size of your winery and what you can contribute to the size of the charitable organization so that you can have a meaningful impact. Is that um, more broadly the advice you might give to other wineries looking to participate to, to give back to the community because a lot of wineries are small to mid-size and they just don't, they can't write the big checks. Um, so is that something you would advise them in terms of looking for something to support? I would definitely and, uh, and if uh, any other winery, Canadian or non-Canadian, would like to join Santa Margherita in the AIDS Walk for Life, of course, we were not, they, they, they would be most welcome, there would be more people. And there are many ways to do it. Uh, for instance, we have our own walking team and we have our t-shirts, we have our, our group going together. Uh, the LCBO Vintages Department, who are our partner in this and have been from, from the very beginning, they have their own team and of course, uh, Scotia Bank has the a very substantial team because they are the but anybody can come to the uh, to the walk anybody the single person the company the group of uh, co-workers can get on the website click give their contribution any any small amount uh, is welcome and uh, and can be uh, and can be uh, given aside from um, just it's a great cause to support and you've decided to uh, why do you think it's important uh, for wineries to support any any cause they choose? Like, what 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 do you think is the uh, reason? Yeah, I wouldn't restrict that to wineries. I think it's important for everybody to give a little bit of the bounty that we in our part of the world are are uh, are participating in. Uh, we have a good living. We. Uh, live comfortably, why not try and uh, take a little bit of what we have and share it with others who unfortunately do not. Absolutely. That, that again is in the spirit of wine. Um, and then 
Uh, conversely, your advice or a, a tip or two for nonprofit organizations or charities who are looking for support from a winery. I know, um, I, you know, in speaking with owners of wineries, winemakers, they get asked a lot to provide free wines for a lot of events and so on. But if you were to step back and, and give a bit of advice to a nonprofit group who is interested in getting the support of a winery, what would you advise them to do? I would say that uh, our formula has proven a good formula. I'm not sure that everybody can uh, can uh, match it. I'm not sure. I mean, uh, if it would be meaningful or, or not. We are lucky enough. We are selling uh, a considerable number of bottles that allow us allows us to 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 put together a uh, decent amount out of 50 cents per bottle, and it may not be the case with other wineries. So different formulas could be probably more and more, more apt. Uh, a winery could become a sponsor just by writing a one-off check and, uh, and, uh, and being a sponsor like that. But I would suggest in any case, come and take part in the walk. It is an enlightening experience. It is a really mm, something that everybody should be seeing. Absolutely. And on that note, I think I, we should celebrate the good work you've done and the money you've raised with, um, I don't know, sparkling wine? <laughs> Do you yeah, have one uh, there, Tim Bruno? Something like this, you mean? Yeah, like the Prosecco that yeah. I know. <laughs> Why not? Let's see uh, if we can get this open <laughs> while being videoed. Um, this, you know, i got to say... Um, uh, this is one of the Prosecco's, one of the sparkling wines I do recommend a lot because it's such good value. Um, you know, the price point for the quality and the taste, especially if you're looking for something for a, a, a celebration and you don't want to splash out $50, $60 on champagne. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a terrific, terrific sparkling wine. So let's give it a taste here. Oh, ching. <laughs> Even the sound of the cork and the glass and everything just really makes it feel like the celebration has already started. Oh, look at that. That moose. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Cheers. Cheers, uh, Natalie. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you, Bruno. And uh, let's just take a sip of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, I love the, um, the vibrancy, uh, the celebration of life in this glass. And I think that's really appropriate for today. So keep up the good work and uh, great chatting with you, Bruno. Great uh, for you to have me, and I do appreciate it. Thank you very much, and I look forward to any future occasion. Okay, take care. Take care. Okay, that's great. Well Thank you Voila. very much. That was painless. You were great. Thank you well. for uh, the conversation. Terrific. Thank you, uh, and... Uh, if you just have the opportunity, come to the walk. I will. You'll see, you know something, what? You'll see something interesting. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and of course, everybody will recognize you and ask you, I mean, uh, thank you for the contribution you've always made uh, to our cause and to, uh, to this. It's time you show your face around. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Bruno. Have a great Bye. day. Ciao. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.